Hi everyone, welcome back to Trini Kids TV. My name is Auntie Shade and guess what? If you're here for the first time, hi and welcome to Circle Time. Now we can start our Circle Time by singing our Good Morning song. Let's all sing together. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you too. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you too. And a very good morning to all of our friends that are watching. Let's find out about the days of the week. Now, if yesterday was Tuesday, what comes after Tuesday? Hmm. Maybe we should sing the days of the week and find out. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. Good job. Let's continue the days of the week. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And guess what? We are still in the month of February. Let's say the entire months of the year. The months of the year are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Yes. Now, I think it's time to find out about our color of the day. Don't you? Yes. Our color of the day today is the color pink. Yes, pink is our color of the day. And guess what, my friends? Pink is a color that you definitely need to mix. You get pink when you mix red and white together. You get pink. Can you think of something that might be pink? You can have a pink cup, a pink crayon, a pink pencil, a flamingo is pink. There are lots of things that are pink, right? Do you like pink? All right. Now let's find out about our shape of the day. Our shape of the day today is a diamond. Do you know what a diamond looks like? Well, take a good look. It looks like this. Yes. A diamond is our shape of the day. Well, my friends, I think it's time that we found out about the weather. Well, we can find out about the weather, but before we do that, we need to sing our weather song. So, can we sing the weather song together? All right, let's go. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today, today? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today? Well, is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Well, now we can take a look outside and see what kind of weather we are having today, my friends. Yes, well, take a look. Yes, my friends, today it's a cloudy day. And we all know what a cloudy day means, right? Yes, it could mean that it's about to rain like it did yesterday. Or it can mean that the clouds are blocking the sun. All right, so it's a cloudy day. Well, let's find out about our number of the day. Our number of the day today is the number 
three. Three is our number of the day. What can we do to count to three? Well, we can hop three times. Yeah, let's go. One, two, and three. Great job. We hopped and counted to three. Now let's find out about our letter of the day. Our letter of the day today, my friends, is the letter that comes after X. Y. Yes, Y is our letter of the day. Can you think of some words that might start with the letter Y? Yo, yo. Yes. Well, yes starts with Y. Yeah. You. You start with Y. Yell like hey! Yell starts with the letter. Now it's time to find out about our lesson for today. Yes, are you excited about our lesson for today? I hope you are. Our lesson for today, yes, it has to do with landmarks, but it also has to do with some amazing animals. Yes, today we are going to be talking about our landmark the Emperor Valley Zoo. Have you ever been to the Emperor Valley Zoo? You have? Well, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful place to visit, especially if you love animals like antidas. So you can take a look at all the wonderful animals in the zoo. And guess what, my friends? We are going to be making a really fun activity and we are going to include lots of the animals that you might see in the zoo. Yes. So the Emperor Valley Zoo has lots of animals like zebras. They have giraffes with their long necks. They have lions and tigers and llamas and lots of other creatures like reptiles and fishes and birds and a whole lot of animals. It'll take you a long time to go around the Emperor Valley Zoo, but they are so much fun to look at. Yes, so today for our activity time, we are going to create our very own mini zoo with some of our favorite animals. Yes, so join me for craft time where we are going to create a lovely little Emperor Valley Zoo with our lovely animals. All right, friends, so let's start by making our zoo for our activity today. Now I'm only doing four animals, and let me just show you a quick way to draw them. Now, of course, you can print them out if you are able to, but for those of you who cannot, I'm just going to show you a simple way that you can draw these animals. So I have a rough sketch of the giraffe here, and you just outline them. All right, so the last one I'm going to show you is the um, lion. So I'm utilizing my whole paper here. Of course, you can do this on colored paper, but I'm just showing you. So you can just do an oval for the little lion's face, just his nose, his little eyes. Make a little circle for his ears and just do the same thing like the body of the rest of the animals you were drawing before. Okay, so that's basically what I did colored and cut out my animals. Now some of them I did with foam like the alligator and the lion, right? So, and then others I did with paper. So you can use whatever you have. If you have construction paper, you can cut them out in the colored paper. But as you can see for the giraffe, I colored it with my color pencils and it turned out just nicely. I did the lion with yellow um, foam and some orange construction paper for the mane of the lion. So for the mane of the lion, all you need to do is just draw another oval and cut it out and fit it around the lion's face. So I'm going to start here by making our zoo next. All right, so I have my animals all together and the first thing I'm going to do is make my sign for my zoo. 
I'm just gonna write Z O O Zoo and that's my sign for my zoo now all you need is a twist tie or these um, pipe cleaners one of these pipe cleaners to make the entrance to your zoo so I have a piece of cardboard here this is just the flap of a cardboard box I'm going to use this to make my zoo okay so you just take your tape and stick it down right here and then you add your zoo sign to the top just like that and there you go all right so we stuck our zoo sign there and now we're gonna put our animals in the zoo so maybe when you know you just come into the zoo you can see alligators so I'm gonna put my alligators on this side so I'm gonna tape it down so it looks like a 3d zoo Back. So there I have my crocodile. And next I'm gonna put my lion. My actually I'm gonna put the zebra next. So I'll put my zebra in my zoo over here. Doesn't he look cool over here? So I'm going to put my zebra right there. And stick him right there. I hope he stays right there. Maybe I need another piece of tape. Yes, I do. And I'm gonna stick him right there. Look at that. My giraffe is right over there. Let's move across so we can put more animals in our zoo. All right. So let's get our giraffe in this little section over here. I'm gonna stick him down over here. So we make sure he stays where we want him to. Look at that, Mr. Giraffe is in his spot. Can you see that? Yes, nice. All right, so there's Mr. Giraffe in his spot. And next, we're gonna put our lion in our zoo, right over here. All right, friends, so we have the animals in our zoo. We have a crocodile that you can visit in the zoo. We have our zebra over here having fun. Our giraffe is right in, yes. And last but not least, our little lion is in the corner here. So we can draw a little map around to show where you need to go. So you can draw a path, you come into the zoo, you can go by the alligators, then you can go and visit the zebras, alright, and then or you can continue on the path and go visit the giraffes, look at that, as well. And then you continue to go and see the lion. Yes, so there we have our zoo and this is our map to our zoo. So there we have it, our Emperor Valley Zoo, our only version of the Emperor Valley Zoo and all the animals in the zoo. Alright, so I hope you enjoy doing this activity and of course we can add lots more animals to your zoo and make it nice however you like it. So enjoy everyone. Here's our Ember Valley Zoo guys. Isn't it cool? Alright my friends, thank you so much for joining me today. I know you love making your wonderful animals in your zoo and when you get a chance, definitely make some time to visit the Emperor Valley Zoo and see the animals in real life. 
The Emperor Valley Zoo is one of our landmarks in Trinidad and Tobago. So I hope you get a chance to check it out. And don't forget to join me tomorrow where we will learn a lot more about our landmarks in Trinidad and Tobago. Alright my friends, see you next time. Bye.